Amen. 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 If you'd like to stay with us, we're now going to learn Shtikla the Maimed of Shema Yisrael, Shem Alakein Hashem Echud, this week's Pasha, and Pasha's Veschanan, it's Daf Yud Aleph. We learned the first few lines of the Maimed. It's uh, Maimed is uh, Daf Yud Aleph, the end of the fourth column, Inyan Krishma Echad Vahavta. Like seven, eight lines into the Maimed. Here in this Maimed, the Alter Rebbe, in this Ois, in the next Ois, the Alter Rebbe talks about the, what's it mean? Ein Aroich. Ein Aroich ha-shilacho ha-shem alakein ha-boilam What's the Ein Aroich? What's the, when, when a Yid thinks, says the Alter Rebbe, about Ani Hashem lo yishanisi, he comes to, there is a mathematical equation here. If Ani Hashem lo yishanisi, it must be that Ein Aroich lacho ha-shem alakein ha-boilam that this world has no erich to the Ebishter. And when the this world has no erich to the Ebishter, there's a few things that happens in the mind of a Yid. Number one, this whole world becomes meaningless to the Yid. There's no erich to all Taibas and all Nisiyonis because the whole world is Ein Arech L'cha Hashem L'keinu. The Chais, so if the whole world is the Ebishter. So Mamela, all the Nisiyonis become easy to a Yid. The world has no value to but on a deeper level, says the Alter Rebbe, the Ava, this touches the Yid in the deepest level of his heart to have an Ava, which is bleak vul to the Eibishter. And what's this is bonus of Ein Aruch? This is what we're going to learn about right now. So, Luau, Kareb Gudla, I'd like to see if you go to Gudla. Says in Tehillim, and we say in Sukkot the Zimra, Tehillim, the capital Kuf Nun, Halalu Kerev Gudla. What's the Lashin Rev Gudla? Rev Gudla. Gudla, Gudla Mashma, Gudula Sukhinis is Pasha, shall make the Sagudula, Shiaches, Shakoyach is Pasha, Shalaches, the Gudla Mayoid. If you would say Gudla Gudla, it means that Gudla, Lachashima Gudula, Gudula means Chesim. Gudla is Gvura, shteitz a gedula is a chesed, as Chazal say in many places. Mid a gedula of the Ebrish because mid is a chesed. So we would say goydel gedula means a mid a chesed. The Ebrish there goes on and on. There's no end to it. Avul keroid gedula is even more than that. Keroid gedula pidush shakam and mina ribu is chalkas be bechina as gedula is is pashtu shal a chesed bechame mina oylema sumadreges rabes at enkates. Roiv Gudla means, Gudl Gudla would have meant that the godless of the Ebishter, which is Chesed, is no end. It's, it's, it's fashion. It's Gudl Hashem Umuholo No, it's very big. It spreads out and it has no end. It's bleak rule. But when you say Kiroiv Gudla, in Chesed itself, there's many levels of Chesed, and each one is in case. Is Pashtus a Chesed Asiya who al Derech Moshe from the Oretz Larakia Takshon Merakia Larakia another level. So is Pashtus Gedula. In this world, the Gemara says Chagiga that if you want to walk from Earth to Heaven, it'll take you five hundred years. That's a certain measurement. A certain measurement. Exactly where you're walking over there. Probably you need good sneakers when you're going, but it'll take you five hundred years. You'll get there in five hundred years. But it's a certain shear. So this pashtus of midas achesed in in this world is five hundred years. Yes, this pashtus in min asagu to my asagu is Moshe Rabbeinu of Shalom Adena Nevi'im. This pashtus asagu as we enkets. There is we say that the Moshe Rabbeinu is asagu, which was unbelievable, which is the biggest of all Nevi'im, which could have, which had the, the the biggest koyach of nevuah. So. In every level, there is the Gedul of the Ebesh that is mispashed in an awesome way. Ad Enkates. Ad Enkates. Yotzer Azei, Yesh Madregis, Rabbis, Moen, Madel, Meresh, Kol Dargin. And on every level, there's the Spashtus of the Gedul of the Ebesh there. On, on that level, in Eilam Hazat, it means space and Gashmus. By Moshe Rabbeinu, it means uh, vision, uh, the Koyach of Nebuah, which is bleak vul, the biggest one was by Moshe. And in every oilam, it means that the midas aches and the is bleak vul on that level of that oilam. Inish, Talshlus, Zul, Hibat, Silus, Menor, Mata. 
Where does the whole thing of Seid Rishtal Shula start? It's from Atzilus. The concept of a Seid Rishtal Shula is that there is a chain reaction. Atzilus can bria bria, tzira yitzira, siya, and in Atzilus itself, Mokhachim comes bina and bina comes das. Just like by a person, that I see with myself, my own flesh, I see Hashem. From the Chachma comes Midas, from Achshava comes Dibur, and so on. But Eibish to himself, which is a source of Atzilus, in Erech, I love his Borech. There's no Erech then. What's up, Shat? There's no Erech. What's up, Shat? There's no Erech because they don't go one level to another level. When there's a father and a son, so, like, if you want to know someone's age, you say, oh, he has a son that's uh, 20 years old. So, obviously, he's got, he's got to be uh, 40, 45 years old, right? So, you have sort of, sort of an edit. Whenever there's an Elah and an Alu, you have, uh, if, a person, if a person has a strong emotion in a certain way, it's obviously, they have a certain way of thinking. They want to do harm to the Yid. So obviously, they have a twisted way of, 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 of twisted seichel. A twisted way of thinking. From their midas, you know what their machshava is. From their midas, you know what their seichel is. But but the Eibish did. It's ein aroich. This is a very important kud that everyone wants to flesh out. What's the idea of ein aroich? You say with the Eibish is ein aroich. What does it mean ein aroich? It's in general chiddush. There is that expression all the time. Ein aroich. What does it mean ein aroich? In other words, yesh aroich ve'en aroich. Sometimes there is an erech and there is no erech. The best place to start understanding what does it mean there is no erech is to know what means there is an erech. What is an erech? So you start right away in the Torah. In the Torah, there's a mitzvah of erech. In Shas, there's a masech. It's called masech. It's erech. Belosh and erech are also the Torah, the erech. Shamarich and kesev erkoi v'mizpar shonov. You want to know, a uh, person says, I'm going to give Erech Ploini a lie. The value of that person is what I'm going to give on Tzedakah. So we have to know they're male, female, they're under the age of uh, five, they're, between, they're, they're under the age of 20, they're under the age of 50, they're over the age of 50. Again, the male, the female, is it five uh, sloyim or, uh, or, or three? Is it, uh, is it uh, 30 or is it 20? There's an Erech. If it's younger, it's, uh, the, uh, the, the, the value is less. Older, the value is more. The numbers, for example. There's an erech. Two. Then you have double two is four. So four is much more. But two, you don't say two. You can't compare two to four. I mean, you can't. There's no, no way. Not true. Double two is four. Double four is eight. You can't compare two to eight. Nah, there's no way. Much more. Okay? You have two plus two plus two plus two. You have four. You have, you have eight. There is an erech. There is an erech. Even in the strongest amount of erech that you have to give 50 shekel. Okay? And the little, the little child you have to give, if she's a little girl, you give three shekel. Okay? A three plus three plus three, you get the 50 shekel. You can't say, There is an erech. In there's a very strong way of, of erech. It's, not, it's even more than money. By money, we say two plus two is already four. So uh, two as an erech to four. But in say the shtal, even more. The lower level comes from the higher level. It comes from the higher level. When a person has two dollars, it doesn't mean that yesterday he had four dollars. Could be yesterday he had four dollars. And he spent already two, and therefore he has two left. Could be he only has two dollars. And maybe soon he'll collect another two dollars, he'll have four. Say the shtalshlos, if you have the lower level, he had the higher level. There's always an erech. The lower level comes from the higher level. And even Gashmis from Ruchnias, the Gashmis comes from Ruchnias, even though there's a jump. But there's an Erech. Sharei, Ruchnias, Mes Elabeshes, Bigashmias. 
the Ruchnius is always enclosed in the Gashmus. For example, Koyach HaSeichol B'moyach. In the brain, there's a Koyach HaSeichol, Koyach HaRiyabayin. In the eye, there's a spiritual Koyach to see. And there's a Mafli Lasa, there's the Ebesh who makes this connection. But, but that's the way it is. HaRiyesh B'neim Eza Kishar V'chibur that there is a connection between the spiritual power of thinking and the physical brain, the spiritual power of seeing and the physical eye. There's a part of the brain which stores the memory. If there's a chas v'shalom, an injury in that chelak of the moyach. So uh, that person chas v'shalom will will not be able to retain information or forget the information. Chen asechol mislavish chilu b'maisa gashmish k'moi maisa aksav shikoisim alasefer b'diyoi dibrei sechol amok. That uh, there is something in the fingers that they have a koyach to write and to express a dvar seichel. Obviously, the way the brain could could take in a dvar seichel on the fingers is very different. And after we spoke about this mushroom that some tzaddik brings about machloikis uh, rishonim about the shiras hashchin and the beis hamikdash. But the common denominator is that in both in the brain and in the fingers there is they there is. It's like Dova Gashmi that could hold in it a Koyach Ruchni. It's a Dova Gashmi that holds in it a Koyach Ruchni. So therefore, you can't say, Ein Aroch. You could throw out such a word, say, Ah, you can't compare. Am Shruchni is much bigger than Gashmi. But still, there isn't really an Erech. Therefore, the Gashmi comes from the Ruchni. The Koyach to see through the eye comes from the Koyach Ruchni. The Koyach to think in the brain comes from the Koyach Ruchni. So since this is a, the lower level comes from the higher level, so it's like mona bar pras, pras bar mona. It's like two dollars from four dollars. Av all the mats alal yom barachu by the Eibishter, who's the source of all the shdal shlus, the source of atzilus, the shayach kol bechinas elus. Not shayach to say this. Any bechinas the shdal shlus or any bechinas the slab shlus. It's not like, in a way, of the shtalshlus that there's a cause and effect, a chain reaction. Chachma makes mina, mina makes das. Seichel makes mida, machshava makes dibur. It's not that way. The Eivishter, the himself, the soiv of nikra, the soiv of kol, amin shalomai lomat hashavim. That's like that. Uh, the highest level, the lowest level, is equal to him. He's not closer to. The higher level, then into the lowest level. It's not, there's no tfisa, the almin, and not typhus in it. So that's a shot in the Pasuk. And the Avaya, Loisham Isi. The Pasuk says, the last Malach, uh, the last one in the Nevim says that the Eivishter says, Ani Hashem Loisham Isi. Ani Hashem Loisham Isi. One second, just want to plug in the computer. Sorry. That before and after the creation of the world, it's the Zalbazach today, Bishter. If there was a piece of the world in the, uh, of the Abishter in the world, he's preoccupied and he's busy creating the world. And now there is. So if there's a tfisa of the Abish in the world, like in the way of Ila of Olu, that the Ila is involved with the Olu. So what are you telling me, Hashem uh, Loishan Isi? There is a Shinu. Abish there was not Nitfis before he created. He is Nitfis when he creates, and after he finishes, he's again not Nitfis. So the answer is, Jagamata ain't of Islapshis. He's now not Islapshis in the world. Therefore, there's no Shinu with the Abish there. Saniya Hashem Loi Shanisi brings us to understand the union of Eina Roich. From the Poska, Aniyah Hashem Loi Shanisi, Chazal understood that Eina Roich 
is because we say is loy shanisi, so therefore it's ain't aroich. If there would be chas v'shalom, a person would could, could say about the Eivish Nishonisi that he's involved in creating the world, like the Seichel is involved in the Midas. So therefore, the Midas is like two dollars from four dollars, and the Dibur is like two dollars from four dollars compared to the Machshava, and the Olam is the same thing, just like the 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 eye to the the Gash music eye to the Ruch music is like two dollars or four dollars. So Chas Hashem, you'd say that with Eivishter, you couldn't say Anishem Loshanisi. When Eivishter says Anishem Loshanisi, then obviously it's Ein Aroich. So Eivishter says how the world's living. It's like the Midas Malchus, it's like shame. Like it's like the Midas Malchus, it's like shame. Baruch Shem, Kavad Malchus, say. For Moshe, Lamel, Hashem, 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 what goes out from the Melech is, is Chochmah, is Chesed, is, is in order to run the country. It's the fear of the Melech, it's the name of the Melech. The same thing with Eivish, the Zainya Chetzoni, Betachlis, which is the Midas Amalchus, which is Shem Hashem, and that gives Chayas to all the Arlamas. That is really Nitzvah and Arlamas. But the Eivishta's presence in the whole world is in the way, is the Eivish to himself, which is Loishanisi. And that Soivir Kolalman. So it means it's present, but the world is not typhus in it. So, chad v'loi b'chushman, that's a chat when the Zoya says, David is chad v'loi b'chushman. He's not in the cheshman. Shein v'pchin is erech. He's not in the erech. We can't count him. As, as, as you say, he's the source of all the elements. So they're much smaller than him. He's much bigger than them. Ge'en v'gad v'yishtal shulis palam is v'chad v'gad v'yishtal shulis. And that's a chat of the achtus p'shut of the Eivish. We're learning in the Rambam, the Rambam segues into it, one cheshbin and one, one rational cheshbin, the al a different cheshbin, and the Ashtid. But the way the al is getting into this idea of Achtus Pshut of the Ebesh, as the Pasek says, and Yishim Loishanis. So therefore, he can't be nitfus in the world. It's Einaroich. The world is Einaroich. Now that we know that the world is Einaroich, you also know the Malibu. And a person will think about this, that the world is Einaroich with the Ebesh there. And so therefore, the Eivish has achtus pshuta. There's nothing. There's only the Eivish himself. The Eivish himself is not kilu. He is a mocker of the Olamos. Like the Chochmah is a mocker of the Midas. Like Machshav is a mocker of the Dibur. Like the Ilu is a mocker of the Olo. So the Eivish, when he understands the achtus pshuta of the Eivish, the Kishosam Adam Aliba Pchinis Echad Zav Kedish Mazai Yeva After Bchalav Afka the Eivish will come. That the Avas Hashem should be Mecholavach. I think it's a Chiddush of an Efesh or Kolavach. Kolavach is the deepest level in the heart. That's the Kolavach. Because Shabbat Nefesh is It's five levels in the Nefesh. So if you were only, it's an Avid that touches only the Nefesh Ruach or Nefesh Ruach Nesham, it's not Kolavach. When is it Kolavach? It's an Avid that touches Nefesh Ruach Nesham Machaya Yechidah. What does it mean, Ava, that touches to the low, to the heart, to the deepest level of Yechida? Yederech Moshe, Moshe Reim, Shekoychas and Efesh, Ispashas, Madregis Rabbis, Mispailas, Mispashas, Shalom, Avalein, Ispailas, Shabbos. Reik, Shemesapen, Lachnei Adam, Sipurim, Aisis, Memel Chomas, Mispol, and Efesh, Ketzas, Sheyesh, Loi, Naichas, Mena, Sipurim, Ahem, Avalein, Metachlisa, Shein, Negeir, Loi, Mamai, Sakach, Rekach, Avalein, Negeir, Loi, Mispailas, Yosem, Medover, Veipuchim. If you tell a person stories, Story, an unbelievable story about a war, two kings, and a person gets drawn in and a person enjoys the story. Does a person really care if you're telling him a story with the king of Persia, the king of uh, the king of uh, France that had a war so many years and so many soldiers and so many, and there's a whole plot in the world? Do you care if a few of the details that I told you in the story are not so midwiyak? You don't care, you're enjoying the story. If it's something that's negated to you, you really care if it's this way or the opposite way. I'm telling you a story about a war. I'm saying I'm, I'm writing a novel. I'm telling you a story. I'm, I'm writing a novel. So who do you care ends up dying or living at the end? You don't care who at the end of the story who dies or lives. But if it's something that's negated to you, you do care what's the end of the story. And every detail of the story, every connection of the story is very negated to you.
like uh, just, a, a, just a fascinating thing. I was once, uh, I heard this from a very, very, very Chosh of it all. Uh, Adav, Sorry, name uh, skips me right now. Very chosh of a poisik. So he said that uh, he was once at a conference with doctors. Something about medicine, aloha. So, so a woman, a woman asked, why is it such a distrust? A woman doctor asked, why is it such a distrust between uh, Rabonim and uh, and the medical field, you know, it's like that expression, you mean him, you mean shokut. A police can have this expression that they write about the medical doctors, you mean him, you mean shokut. Why is there such a big distrust? Like, uh, you know, why can't you, uh, who cares if they're religious, not religious? Questions if a woman, for example, is, do you trust them, a woman is a leader, not a leader. So, uh, so the Sarov said, he asked this woman, I want to ask you a question. If, uh, if, you, uh, if you have a client, Indian woman, and she asked you to look in her ear, she wants to know if the wax in her ear is yellow or black. And you should write it on a note. So you ask her, why not Kimina, if the wax in the ear is yellow or black? He says, if the wax in my ear is yellow, I can sleep with my husband. Otherwise, I'm banished to sleep for a week in the backyard. If you're a decent person, you're going to take a piece of paper and write, I checked in your wife's ear, and the wax is yellow, definitely not black, right? You're just a decent human being. You would do that, right? But I don't expect you to be less of a decent human being when a woman has a shy look, she's a neither, not a neither. It's red, it's black, if it comes from here, if it comes from there. What's the difference where it comes from? Whatever, tell the woman something that make her make her happy and then that you know, that she can go back and sleep with her husband. It's not negated to you, this whole this whole chasnita business is not negated to you. It's irrelevant. It's not a, it's not it's not a real thing to you. So how can we trust you? If a person says the Alter Rebbe hears the story, it's not Negei, he doesn't care the Prat. If the, if the story is really Negei to me, it's very Negei, every Prat in the story. Within something that's Negei to me, there's many levels. Even in the person there are with things that are Negei to me, but Negei, Example, uh, person's Nagaya, things that the, in the business are Nagaya, but not so Nagaya. At some point, you just turn off your cell phone, get it, whatever's gonna happen, is gonna happen. You know, after the weekend, I'll turn my phone, my phone back on, we'll deal with it then. Uh, if there is a bias, if there's a from a kid that's sick, spouse, don't just say, oh, I'll just turn off the phone and whatever, after the weekend, we'll deal with it. Nagaya, it's very Nagaya to you every, it's Nagaya now. A person's life is in danger. That's very Negeya. So the Shaila is, how is the Avas Hashem by Ayid? How much is it Negeya? Like the yellow or black wax in, the, uh, in this mushroom, uh, you know, the Indian woman's ear? Or is it Negeya? How, how is it, how much is it touch? The Torah says, The Nefesh, Ruach, Neshama, Chaya, Yechida, touches until Yechida, Memele, Yitzchai, Lasava. He feels it to the depth of his heart. The entire heart is on fire. How does that happen? It comes from the deepest level of Ava. And where is the deepest level of Ava? Yechida. And that comes when a Yid understands that the Eivish that is Yochid. When the Yid understands, when it clicks in the Yid's mind, the Achtus of the Eivish there, 
then the uh, the Yechida Shemun is on fire. And the Mela, Kol Levavcha is full of Avas Hashem. Bechol Levavcha, we hear that Al-Tarebbe touches all the levels within the life. Now, in other words, I'll be primious at her. I'll be nigga, we said, Bechol Levavcha, we said, Bechol Levavcha, both parts of the heart, both ventricles, the left and the right. Here, Al-Tarebbe said, Bechol Levavcha, all parts in the life, in the Nefesh HaLakiz Gufa, there's five parts in the life, Nevish Ruch Neshama Chai Yechida, the Aves Bechol Alamavch. Hey, but Nevish Lakis Mok and Hashem is Israel, if that's Israel, Niki Bashem Libi. When it comes to Nevish Lakis, as the Ava has touched the deepest part, so the Bechlal, Knesset Israel is called Libi. The Kudus Alei, Pchinis Yechida, Shema Kabel, Pchinis Echot. The male is Echot, the female is Yechida, the Ebishter is Echot, the Yid is Yechida, Shemchinis Erot, and Shalom Alaminat Hamvadas, which every Yid has. I know. How does that come out, the gilui, the connection, this ava that touches the yechid of the neshama, which is connected to the yachid of the evish, that I know that she's born in Eshur, is barach echad, chad v'le b'chujma. In the mizbon in the yichud of the evish, the achtas of the evish, the achtas of shuta, chad v'le b'chujma, mishtal shilis, and all the yishtal shilis, the yirida g'del v'atsuma, but upon a mizbon, shame balvad, it's only a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame to get lost in the shame. Shame, uh, pun intended. Shame means shame Hashem, and shame means like, in English, it's a shame. It's a shame to get lost in the shame. Yehalo, shame Hashem, kindin, is gav shmei levar, the hoid, the yaleid, it's the hoid of shmei, is yaleid, is gav shmei, and mechan, I mean, it's a bit of 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 a a bit of 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 a bit the whole idea of Sefer Eitz Chaim is to show you and teach you to say the not that you get lost in the Ishtalshus, you should understand how it's the inner of the Ishtal. To understand an arichis, to understand in your achtes davish or achtes pshut of davish. That's what the Gemara says. We learned recently in Brachot Daf Yud Gimel. Kol amarik mecha menichim yom avish noisim. So we all tell him What does it mean? A person that has says echad varichus has yomim varichus. Yo, he midas avish nikra yoyim. A pitnim is a toyra yoyim is av. Moshe calls him Yoimim Yitzav Shem Chazda. Yoimim is associated with Chesed with Ava. So, the day Shemar is born of Yechot, true, he is this is born of Yibu in the year of Yechot, the God of the Sisram, the Midas Ava, the Mizborach, then the Amidas Ava of the Davish there is growing. Look at the Zimra. So, again, if a person spends a lot of time in the year of understanding the Achtos, the truth of Davish there, Malvichel, Yom, and Shnoiso, that he'll have yom imaruchim, he'll have yom dinyan ava, he'll have an arichas dika ava, a deep ava. Psuk de zimra vorech shahalo shem hashem. And this is the whole union of psuk de zimra to realize the ener ech to the evishter. As we said before, kerev gudu. Not to go to gudu. Ribe is falk as we said, we come in the madrekis, 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 we come in the madrekis. This is all the gurois of the evishter, the shem hashem. But the Abish himself is Enerich. There is a Yosha of Abbas Hashem. If this Ayid will turn to unbelievable Abbas Hashem, Oyer in Tsai Baruch, the Abish himself, the bottle of Kolon is Baruch, to become bottle and one into the Abish, the Kitikton, the Oyd, the Ain of Abbas, the Elam Hazar, the Kikhoz of the Gashmi. The Ab of Elam Hazar and the Gashmias will become very small in a person's eye. Shame Yordan and Ishtal Shmuel, the Elam Adolam, the Sesar of Adregis, Madregla Madrega. This world is only a Sesar of Adregis. If this world is common in its symptom, and I'm showing him that's this whole world is a, it's a whole bunch of symptom. But when a yid realizes the mighty mechot, that Hashem echot, Achtus Hashem, the Abish himself, which is enerich to the world, the Gansar Lamaza loses its chshibis, it loses its erich, because the whole world is enerich. Kol Shikain, this world is enerich. It's, it's two ways, and it's interesting. If you go from Musach, Siddhis, you come the same thing. This world is enerich. Agonize over this world. Don't look at this world. So reading the forewords of the of the Debetzin and Ruben Esfar and several of them, he talks about luxury, luxus. Ah, you're talking that there's luxus. 
especially for Loim de Torah and Abonim, there's a little bit of luxus, luxury, you can get in two ways, saying that this, that the lug, luxus, luxury, is silly, is evil, abolim. we can say the opposite, but it's the same thing, saying that the gun Lamaza and all Shedish Talshus has no erech to the Evishta. I want to connect to what is, what's the emes. So this is Tzimtzumim, this is nothing, there's no erech to the Evishta. I, my ishtoikikus is, is to have an arichas beyechod, to have the true avas Hashem mechol because that's true. And, and therefore I want to, this is everlasting, and this is true. This is, this is what I want to connect with. This week, uh, where this is this uh, long Pasha, it's a Libra, it's Shema Yisrael, Ebi Shahal from Taka, that all of us should be Zoycha Taka to have Arichus, Arichus Be'echad, and should be Zoycha to have Arichus Yom and Mesham and Banim. Amen. Shkoyach, Godel, for joining us. Uh, guten Shabbos. Good Shabbos, good Yor. We should have a Shabbos and Achmo. We need Nechama. Zahamna Nechama Bekeflayim. Amen. Amen, amen. Okay, see you. Good night. Good Shabbos, everybody. Good Shabbos.